Hey everybody, Arn all the Waffman again, and I just uh, finished doing some stuff with my lighting console. Added a couple new things on here, so I wanted to show you a little bit of what's happening. Uh, first of all, uh, if you haven't seen the video, uh, great, I'm going to start this all over again. If you've seen it, well, you get to put up with some of the stuff I've already talked about. First of all, we have the wireless systems here up at the top. This is just the ADJ Wi-Fi. I've got a hookup for a second Wi-Fi, as well as IEC if I'm using Wi-Flex or WDMX. Uh, this is uh, well, this is the computer that I chopped up and I redid and there's a whole bunch of new custom stuff in here Just put an SSD upgraded the RAM. So now there's eight gigs of RAM whoop de doo uh, There's an external graphics card or a uh, secondary graphics card Which normally this computer doesn't support but there's some modifications including a beefier power supply We are good to go now. This is going to this right here main display This one here that says HDMI is actually a Dell all-in-one computer there so this is a backup ready to go, but I also have another SSD backed up ready to go. And if I need to quickly boot, I also have a flash drive that I can just plug in through here and that's good to go there as well. So this is running CompuShow. This is my software of choice. This is the Compu SDE, which has three physical DMX universes and four ArtNet. When I need to run all seven universes, I just use the Alation eNode 4. This little clamp right here clamps right onto the side, and I have four universes right there through ArtNet really nice and fast. Underneath the Minicon Pro, let's see here. You can see all the wiring and everything else, and ooh, what's that? That is the ADJ or Relation Cling Net. Uh, both of them actually distribute that. And what the uh, Easy Cling does, excuse me, not the Cling Net. What the Easy Cling does is it converts Cling Net into DMX. But the reason it's underneath here is because that is actually going into one of the outputs in here, right? So there's three physical outputs, which can be DMX out or DMX in. So this one down here is going to the Cling Net. So what happens is I can actually, uh, there's a, Cat5 cable that I just yank out of there. It hooks up into my Arceus rig, which funny enough is right down there. And then I just go into this little button right here. Let me see, where is it? Oh goodness, I made one. There it is, right there. Uh, cling. And what it does is it now does DMX merging because this program has DMX merge built in. So now all the cling net input from here goes directly to this. So now I've made cling buttons for my floods. Even if they're not pixel mappable floods, I can take a whole bunch of floods and make them uh, as a pixel mappable show. Uh, lights such as the Inno Pocket Wash Z4 can now be controlled with ClingNet and still have pan and tilt, strobe control, everything else from CompuShow. Most importantly, I also have a color wheel, a master color wheel down here that is mapped to Beyond, which can also run on this computer as well. So the Minicom Pro will control Beyond, Arceus, and Compu Show, all by using the super handy motorized faders. But that being said, so I can now map the color wheel to Beyond, which also has a cling net input. So now that means that my lasers will also change color in whatever visual I pick. So if it's a very visual heavy show, my uh, programmer isn't even choosing colors. They're just letting the video choose all the colors, speeds, everything that the lights are going to go along with it. So that's something really cool. So uh, this was actually a coffin for a couple of CDJs and some 10 inch mixer, whatever, you know, the DJ had. Actually, I bought this from one of my DJ, Sam, chopped up the hell out of it, got rid of the second part. I just put this here for now until I get a chance to make it nice and pretty, um, just so I don't, you know, get stuff all over my hands. But yeah, so I got rid of all that, got rid of the middle parts, really nice and strong. Then we have these right here. Now, a lot of people are asking how I made these because back in the day it was DJ Rack. Uh, what I did is I took an under counter monitor uh, mount. So this is one of those that, you know, go underneath your counter. Uh, let's say this is like my kitchen counter right here. And then you pull up and there's the monitor there. And then I just took the uh, these metal bars you get from Lowe's, the aluminum ones. And I bent it in and then it just gets bolted down there. As you can see. And it's nice and sturdy. Uh, other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a small swivel tilt so you can tilt the monitor Kind of like how you can tilt this, which is really nice. So yeah, that is the system in a nutshell. Absolutely happy with it. There are drop downs for uh, for the Arceus, and on this side over here we have PowerCon. There's also DMX out, but I use mostly wireless for my rigs where at all possible. They got all powered with the Alation MidiCon Pro and Alation CompuShow. This is SDE 
a lot of cool stuff in it. Oh, there's a small wireless router as well for an easy remote. So thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Good night. God bless.